facing the fall. Right now, the Duval County School Board is discussing its plan for the upcoming school year. And News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean has been listening in. He joins us live with where things stand right now. Joe? And uh, Tom and Mary, they just moved on to the uh, budget discussion that was uh, part of the agenda. But before that, they heard public comment from uh, several families uh, uh, of school age children saying uh, many of them saying they want the school board to impose a mask mandate uh, in line with uh, CDC recommendations that came out this week. And uh, earlier, uh, the board also got an update on what the district's plans are for COVID-19 uh, safety. Take a look at uh, what the updates were. First, uh, Superintendent Diana Green let the board know that temperature checks are gonna be back in place for this school year for elementary school students only. Also, so social distancing is still gonna be a requirement this year. They said they'll also be stocking the classrooms with hand sanitizer and cleaning supplies. Each school is also gonna have a school nurse or a health aide. And also, the big question on many parents' minds is the board is still uh, holding to no mask mandate. They said they're going to strongly, incur strongly recommend masks, but not require them. Uh, the person who updated and has been working with the school board is Ernesto Rubio, interim health officer for the Florida Department of Health uh, in Duval County. Uh, Ernesto, can you talk a little bit about how the health department has been working with the school district on developing COVID-19 plans. Right, we've been working with the school district throughout this COVID-19, also through the summer school that we've had. And so we work very closely, our staff at the Duval County Health Department with the staff here at the uh, Duval School District. So it's a, been a relationship that we've been continuing on since the start of COVID. How has the Delta variant sort of changed things over the course of the summer, over the course of these past few weeks? Well, as we all see, the, the case numbers are increasing very much so due to the cause of the Delta variant here in Duval County and throughout the state of Florida. So we're quite concerned with it. So that's why we are in agreement with the school board to strongly encourage the uh, they are st strongly recommend the parents to bring their children to school with masks. The CDC seems like it's recommending all school personnel, students, staff wear a mask, but there's no recommendation for mask mandate, though. That's correct. You know, our governor has clearly stated that that is a choice by the parents and the individuals. So we stand behind that. But again, our recommendation is we strongly recommend that you wear masks, vaccinated or not. Thank you, uh, Mr. Rubio. More on this coming up on News for Jacks at 10 and 11. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. All right, thank you, Joe. Our coverage of the pandemic continues right now on our website, newsforjacks.com, where you can find a list of COVID-19 testing sites. Just look for the story on our homepage.